I just heard something weird in my left ear. Strange. Very strange. Let me turn that down. I just realized I was streaming with my microphone on a different setting by accident the other night when it sounded like quieter. Like I had the curve turned off on the microphone. So, it may have made it sound weird. I don't know though. Yeah, I heard like a weird shimmering sound. It was bizarre. Completely random. Should I put it in sudden death though? Dropping below one stam or reason will kill you immediately. Just like real life. When your stam and reason go below one. Right? Super hard difficulty. I like how they lay it out like visually for you here. A random chosen difficulty level. Dude, just completely random. Random everything? Hell yeah. Do it. Let's fucking do it. Something strange is happening in our town. The city of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980X. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago, are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand and you finally arrived in the doomed town. Whoop! We missed it all. I don't know. Oh fuck, it's Goi Goizo. And hunted by the cult. This is gonna be interesting. Hey, at least we're Ico. It gave me like easy difficulty though. Hunted by the cult. Actually, it's not a bad one. I like it. Hunted by the cult. We can't tell exactly what difficulty it is, I guess, until we go into the... Let's change up the palette. I've been playing with this one for a minute. I think I used this one last time, didn't I? No, this is different. Ah! I like that one. Back rooms, I don't think I've ever used. The Blood Lord. Skeletal King, Swamp Snarl. Haircuts. Have I used this? I used, um, like ZR or something, right? Not haircuts. Yeah, I, I used Samhain a little while ago. I like that one, though. No, this one doesn't look as bad as I remember it looking. Gardener. Seville. Her colors don't like that one, really. Leatherface. Caution tape. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with caution tape again. I re oh! I almost hit exit. Oh my god. I like caution tape. Also, I unlocked a new monument. It's called, uh, or a new city location. It's called the Monument. So you can go there to lower your doom, but it costs you stamina. It's kind of cool. It changes the whole game, in my opinion. Uh, we're going to keep... I guess we'll go for the occult shop. Yeah. We're going to run and grab a steak knife as soon as I can. Yeah, I really like caution tape. a good one. 
it's all five, so it's just um, the easiest difficulty. It's not the new one, Skeptic. Let's take that XP boost. Let's get that moolah. All right, Ico. Oh, I got the library notes too, actually. That's not bad. It sacrificed some reason. Ancestral strength. Yeah, a little bit more ain't a big deal. That's always useful. Grotif. I could just do that. Not even look for a weapon. Like you grow teeth and uh, what do teeth proc with? Yeah, dude, we'll take teeth. We'll get Kana. Do it. Oh, I thought it showed your teeth come out. They have biting the enemies. They're like all fucking nasty and shit. Uh, this is a strength check. Hey! That's what I'm talking about. Fail that shit. While looking around the ransacked room of a recently deceased friend, you find the half-finished painting of a woman. Her skin a ghastly pale yellow color. Alright, well we get, got the charisma check at least. Can I ask for more than that? <laughs> Grow teeth is pretty lame, but if you don't want to waste your time looking for a weapon, it's better than nothing. This is a knowledge check, isn't it? Oof! I think I would have like tried if I knew it was gonna be minus two stam. You know, I would have at least tried. Also, since we're playing on completely random mode, is there a way to tell if we're doing timeline B or not? I forget if there is. That means. I assume somewhere it says it, but. I don't know. Take a bath. This is a really good encounter if you can pass as a charisma check, I think, though. But it gives you, like, four reason back. I think it's, like, one of the biggest reason restoring events in the entire game. Blech. It's plus four if you get it, though. Right, right, right. I think we have to go to the seaside once in this mystery, don't we? 11 fucking yen now? Are you kidding me? Or 8, rather? Where did I get 11 from? Uh, pray at the temple's reason, I think. Hey! I don't know why I'm doing the Fonzie thing today. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. You could sell your teeth if they had any value. Did you guys see that picture of the fucking bell peppers on Twitter? I saw Zito, like, quote, tweeting it. It was like the white bell peppers, but they had like a little, like, tinge of red on them. They looked like teeth. I'm sure someone knows what I'm talking about. You carefully enter the biology classroom. The room seemed empty at first until you switched the lights on. You gasp in horror, lying in a pool of blood as one of the teachers with a fruit knife in their hand. Fruit knife is the one with, like, a weird hook on it, right? Kind of. It's, like, a it's very sharp knife, but it has, like, a hook on it. It's, like, definitely a knife you don't want to get stabbed with. Not like you'd want to get stabbed with any of them, I guess, but... There's a jar of formaldehyde on the nearest table. Mesmerized by the spiral pattern on the sea creature's skin, you step over the dead body and come closer. And then the voices start.
It's time for de-seeding things, I see. A C. So yeah, you get a bite. A bite move now. It doesn't look like it procs with anything in particular. It's just like a better kick, basically. Is it gonna add plus one for Kana though? Or Kana's not here now. Oh, that's right, she like goes away. I guess we'll see. That's 80%. That's pretty good. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. That's not going to be a one-shot, though, so we may as well pad it a little bit. I mean, there's no reason not to. You probably give these plus two. There we go. Those, those should all hit. Oh, you know what? I should have popped this earlier. I don't know why. Well, minus four. I'm going to forget this now because I don't think I'm going to use it after this mission. I guess if Kana was here, it wouldn't be as bad. Because those would be four damage. That's not bad at all, honestly. For that amount of time it costs. Lump of flesh. It'd be better if it showed, like... Remember, the, there's, like, a little clip from The Simpsons where they show Lisa when she doesn't get braces? They're like, well, if she doesn't get them, this is what she could look like in ten years. And they show a picture of Lisa with, like, her teeth, like, protruding from her mouth and shit. And then, like, and then in 20 years, and she looks like Baraka from fucking Mortal Kombat after that. Yeah, going through her face. All right, well, you know what's going to happen right now. The other night I saw someone say, like, they were eating and they saw this for the first time when I was playing, and I felt bad, so. Uh, there's a needle, and there's an eyeball. So. You know. And by God, it's stone cold! Just wanted to give a proper warning that time. Shocked, you see countless tiny eels, excuse me, crawling out of your friend's eyes in all directions. Will they even survive the blood loss? No, they're fine. Just put the lump of flesh in their eye wound. What do you think would happen if you did that? Would they become like an eldritch monster? It'd be kind of badass, actually. Wake up, dude. You've been sleeping for over three hours. Tiny Austins emerge from the eye. Oh my god. Yeah, just rub some flesh in the flesh hole. It's how it works. How do you think doctors figured out, like, what they were supposed to do? They tried things like that. You know? Then they figured out that it was bad or it was good. That's basically a organ transplant. It's just a lump of flesh. It's like a blood transfusion. Roads closed. Attention, please do not eat flesh in real life. Take the key. Um, I should probably take the reason, I guess. I mean, human flesh. Well, like, put a fucking couple zeros after it, though, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think it would be dollars, either. I mean, it's clearly Japanese currency if we're in Japan, right? I think it would just make the game dumb for it to be like, you got 5,000 yen for killing that enemy or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, but I guess, you know, what are you going to do? Whatever it is, we can call it bucks, dollars. I don't know why I'm calling it again. 
I don't know. I'm trying to be accurate. Well, it's clear it is Japan, though. It's Japan. 100%. V-Bucks. Yeah, exactly. It's just easier to deal with. Imagine if all the numbers were, like, low like that, then all of a sudden it was, like, fucking 80,000 yen. Um, what should we do next? Botanist? We could go buy a weapon, too. I mean, who the fuck am I kidding? The Horrible History of Household Hell. Or botanist, doesn't really matter. Uh, we could do scissors after. Can we do the good ending for the plant, man? Have I not done it already? By good ending, you mean cut him up, right? Kill him? Kill him? The innocent man? Steak knife. Turn him into salad. Toss the salad, if you will. Let the police handle it. Yeah, I'd say that's the good ending. Uh, killing him, not tossing any salad. Love the way the sky looks with that palette. Like, copper. Confront the stranger. I think that's a charisma check. Run in terror. Is that dexterity? What? No, it's just reason. Okay, that's just like default. I give up option. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, you just chop him up. Oh, come on, man. Your reflection twists and shimmers when you're not looking at it directly. Goizo is getting closer. Oh, no. Hunger. I already had low charisma, so that sucks, but... Kind of goes along with what we were talking about earlier. Now I can eat long pig if we find any. I, I forget what this is a test of. Is it just luck, maybe? Knowledge. Okay, we got lucky. Prayer beads? These are kind of lame. Faster spiritual actions? Get out of here. I uh, should have rested a little bit. Oh well. Oh, I didn't get both the fucking the bonus things. God damn it. I'm an idiot. I keep fucking this one up. Ah. A woman bumps into you as she runs from a beauty parlor. Before you can say anything, you notice her face. She's carved out her own eyes. If I can't see it, she cries. It can't see me, right? You shudder, seeing a faint vision of Goizo reflected in the beauty parlor's mirrors. Um. Bummer. Yeah, a lot of eyes coming out in this game. You know what? I was thinking about it, and some of the eyes that you see in the vents with the centipede man. Those could be the eyes from people losing them to the to eels or whatever, I guess. Of course, it was knowledge. Tap into his power. There we go. Yeah, well, sorry, man. Sorry, Shiro-san. I'm throwing you to the to the plants. Mm. 
Mostly because the damage you take from like trying to lead him out is so bad. Like, does it matter? He's gonna die. Um, plus one to all stats if you have no allies with you. I have kind of remember I did that the other day and I didn't even fucking think about it. I guess Dex and Dex. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. Yeah, he's always a monster. I don't know what timeline we're even in right now, though. I think we're in timeline A. Don't know, though. No need reason. Well, uh, well, timeline B is like Halloween themed. It has different bosses and stuff. It has a lot of different stuff going on with it. I'm gonna do household health and heal up a little bit. I could have done fear festival actually, done the same thing, I suppose. Ooh, that's a lot of doom now. Any safe reason? Is any? Is it safe to reason any game with choices? Is it just multiverse theory? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I have been, always been failing this, but I'm already a cannibal, so shouldn't I not be disturbed by this? Nah, it's the same enemies, mostly. There might be a couple different ones, though. There's different bosses. Like, Centipede Man is a boss. Pretty face. Mind if I borrow it? Uh, I couldn't even one-shot her if I wanted to, I don't think. Nine. Four. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Well, oh, those are pretty low chances to hit anyways. That's 70 each. Oh, I can't get another one? What the fuck? Did they put a limit on something? What the hell's going on here? Why can't I get any more attacks then? Maybe it's the the enemy. I guess I could have been hitting the action limit. It didn't seem like it though. Hmm. It should be death for her. <sighs> Wait, what's that? Lucky earrings. Yeah, we'll keep going. Jesus. You try to avoid mirrors, afraid of what could be waiting for you on the other side. All right, now we gotta go to the mansion. We may as well rest one more time. There's not really any reason to do the bonus objective for this one. I don't think you can sacrifice Kana anyways. At this time. Oh, of course.
Nice. Nice. Corpses are strung up on a wire like macabre marinettes with painted smiles and rosy cheeks. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen this guy before. Cultus Hunter B? Doesn't have a lot of health. I mean, technically, if these all land, no, 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 I wouldn't kill him. Twelve. Actually, shouldn't kind of be adding a damage to Elmas? A little bit. Perfect. I guess not. What the hell's going on with that? Oh, minus one damage. Did that get changed or am I in fucking sane? Wait, what's that? What? Guy just drops a hunting rifle? It has no bullets, though. Huh. Interesting. So it's kind of worthless, unless we can find bullets. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was plus one damage at one point. Uh, take a bath. We need that bath. Boom. A sudden growl. The Rumu ghost. I'm gonna run, I think. Ooh, Sever is not doing nearly as much as I remember doing. For how much time that takes. I guess I should have kept my other thing. Let's fucking bounce. Low knowledge. Touch the stone. Nice. Almost on another level. The perks for leveling right now are random too, so we could get perks from anyone. Anyone. I did not mean to click through that. On your own. Oh, those all suck. I'm gonna do it. We have two quests left. That's fine. Zeal. All combat moves deal an extra one damage. Lower max sees for uh, stamina and reason by four. I'm gonna do that because I'm at twenty one. That bring me down to 17. That's really not a big deal at all. And, uh... Need some reason back. And then we'll do the school. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Fucking piece of cake. And then I got these notes and these spells. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... use... no. Oh, it's plus one damage. Fuck yeah. And then I'm gonna forget it. And then I'm gonna use this. Oh, man. I've already taken a bath. Let me take another bath. 
Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. Yeah, I got some lumpy flesh. You have to throw it at someone. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back to where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that can happen? Yeah, what's the worst thing? Huh? What's the worst thing, man? I'm gonna put the gun away for now. Put that gun away. I'm gonna grab a baseball bat, though. Good to throw at things. <clears throat> well, the flesh gives you uh, health back, but it curses you if you use it. But it could be a lifesaver. I think it's a dex check to go through it. It's going to be doomed to go around it. Ah! Come on, man. Mangled hand. Dude, that sucks. Fuck off. That's like one of the worst injuries in the game. I hate that one. Ugh. That one sucks. You're stopped by a girl you haven't seen in months, but how could you? She died in an accident. Stalker girl. Well, apparently I'm going to take damage now every time I attack. I should have taken more decks, maybe. Although that's a perfect 200. It doesn't really matter, though. We're not going to one-shot her. <sighs> Wait, no, we did because of the ancestral strength. That's right. A cold diary. All right, we can use it after this. What's that? Who is that guy? He looks familiar. Can't come in. You enter the damp smelling sport wing. You notice a backpack drifting on a swimming board in the back of the pool. Could it be what you were looking for? You enter the pool and start swimming towards the backpack. Suddenly, the water turns murky and you realize you're not alone in the pool. A bloated figure emerges from the murky water, blocking your only way out of the pool. The bloated teacher. Stab him. Well, if these all land hits, we're good. Not even. Just takes four hits. Um, which scissor lady do I want to fight even? I guess the easy one. Why not? It always looks like the star has like a piercing, like an industrial piercing. That symbol. It's a waste of time. The sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. Barbell piercing. That's what it is. You enter the school bathroom to wash your face with cold water. A sudden noise behind you stops you in your tracks. One of the stall doors is opened on its own. It's a ghost. Not my favorite enemy. Forgot about this one. Have any good spells for this? Nah. Run! 
Everything's ready. Perform the ritual. Wait, what's that? What's that noise? Hello? Oh, she's not so bad. She's kind of cute. You know what she looks like? Right? You know what that is? It's her, though. Right? Brought to you by Taco Bell. Scissor Lady. Get a Scissor Lady $5 box meal today. The edge of the meal has a serrated paper that you can cut your own face with. Limited time. Like, you know, the saran wrap? You know, like the edges of those kind of boxes that you like rip the paper on? That's what the $5 box comes with. And you just like cut your face with it. It'd be the scissor lady. I guess it'd be like the Joker too though. And then the next month they could just do a Joker promotion with it. Same box. Just change the color of it. Man, I'm giving away these babies for free. Taco Bell should be sending me like dump trucks full of tacos. Wait, why can I only get... There we go. And those are all 74%. Let's throw some shit at her. Can I throw the flesh at her? No. Can't throw anything else. Alright. This should kill her in one shot without her even hitting me. Nice. The ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. The crazy Chalupa. You find your friend gravely wounded but alive. You help him and you limp away from the school as the police sirens get louder. What does it mean? What does it mean? The scissor woman's gone for good. Or is it? You shudder knowing the urban legend will inspire another kid in another city to try and summon the eldritch being. Who though? Who would do that? Um... We got one. We got the Fear Festival. I take a bath. Hmm. Hmm. Do we even want the experience, really? Yeah. Why not? Fear Festival is kind of a pushover. Yeah, there's all sorts of mod support for this game. There's even actually a, like, scenario creation tool that someone made. Now, apparently, that makes it really easy for you to just drop, like, PNGs in and, like, put them into the game, I guess. It's not, like, official, but... It's supposed to work really well. Yeah, so not only is it moddable, but it's, like very easy to mod, apparently. Allegedly. An Eric Andre event pack? Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Yeah, Fear Festival is a good, like, lazy regain your stam mystery. But it also has, like, cool stuff you can do, like the mystery, or the festival stuff is decent. 
Um, now it has like the pervert in the house too. I forgot about that. The inn's room is dusty, like it hasn't seen any visitors in years. You wonder if anyone cleaned it since the last festival 27 years ago. There's a folder of available activities lying on the table. Check out the painting. You freeze in terror as something moves on the painting. There's a hole in it. You're being spied on from the nearby room. Check it out. Worried and furious about the hole in the wall, you enter the inn from the back, trying to find the room that connects with yours. Thinking you finally found it, you enter and scream. So I think the perverted innkeeper only shows up if you're playing as like a female character. I think the other times he doesn't show up if you're playing as Haru or uh, the other dude. I don't know though. I don't know if that's 100%. <laughs> Stab this guy. He must have seen too much. <sighs> That's some good experience, too. Fame, faster combat energy. Yeah, yeah, that one's decent if you have a lot of allies. All these kind of suck. I'm going to reroll. This isn't bad, but it's better early in the game. My weird collection. Gain one random item with the occult tag at the end of each mystery. Fuck that. Extra experience. Ghost and eldritch enemies. Nah. Nah. I'm going to re-roll one more time. Because we're so close to the end. Oh my god. These all kind of been bunk. Fast hands. It's decent, I guess. Yeah, these all suck. I should have gone with one of the other ones. Really? What was the point? I could do this one more time. It's cutting it close, but... <laughs> These all fucking suck. I think the decks. Nice. Very nice, Doom. I'm gonna get rid of this. You can't get rid of Kana though, that's the problem, so it doesn't even matter. I would get rid of her in a lot of situations. We've run into that a few times already, but yeah, she's a fixture. She's not like other allies that you can like dismiss. Or at least she wasn't last time. I guess we could send her against an enemy though. But we would have had to do it before we gained the level. Yeah, you can't just, like, dismiss Kana. She doesn't play that shit. For some reason. Kill it! Oh, man. It's the first time we didn't, like, wipe something out. Someone's watching you from behind the trees. Or something is watching you. Oh, just bit my tongue. Yeah, the damage reduction is, like, game-breaking sometimes. Another fucking curse! Stalker. Going back to the inn, you overhear two mass village villagers. They're talking about something awakening at the next dawn. You wonder, what's up with that? Um, I mean, we could rest up there. We'll just go in the woods. Oh, another minus two reason. No, it doesn't help with holes, I don't think, or anything like that. It's just battle only. As far as I know, it doesn't affect anything else. Um, perception, nice, nice. Why is it so quiet all of a sudden? Is that blood? 
Find the missing peoples. I'm gonna burn my experience now. For the reason, honestly. <clears throat> that memory extract is like one of the best spells in the game. <gasps> Dog! This is going to be a luck check. Yeah! Camp dog. What? I've never seen this before. Plus one additional inventory slot. Huh. Wagging his tail. He's got like a little backpack on. While exploring the factory, you're caught by mass people you've seen from the, the inn's window. Tied up, they bring you to the cult leader. We knew you'd come, you hear a raspy voice. It's your aunt's voice coming from behind the priest's weird mask. Oh, me? The caution tape palette makes it look like he has, like... Someone, like, mistook his face for, like, a fucking urinal or something. With a loud bang, the ancient horror disappears and the high priest falls to the floor. Okay, so we're in, we're in timeline uh, A, because if it was B, you would actually have to fight that guy. There's like flecks of yellow all over his face and stuff. It's funny. The fetid fumes. Well, that's fine, because I can't rest anymore anyways. Fine with me. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. I'm gonna take the reason. That's all our quests for this run. The fucking lighthouse. Why does he fight you? Eh, he hates you, I guess. He's jealous. He's jealous of you. That should be good. Start climbing. The rules have changed, kiddo. He says, taking the jacket and the mask off. Nothing personal, really. Chop him up. Nothing personal, kid. What? He just gets stabbed repeatedly. What are you? Oh, no. I don't remember. Forgotten specimen. <laughs> nope. Nope. It's okay. I'm gonna curse myself again. Just because, why not? Oh, I'm fucking bloated now? Something is moving inside your stomach. Why? Not enough knowledge. It's okay, though. We banished the old god. You've gained a new status. Bloated. I hate that word. Yeah, look how fucking cursed and I forgot to get this injury even healed. I for completely forgot. The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You managed to stop the ritual awakening the eldritch old god, but what's done is done. It will stir in its slumber again and again until the stars are right again. Yeah, she's all fucked up. I'm all fucked up. She had the cannibal disease, but she was also bloated, so she was, like, eating too many people. That's the head cannon. When she was- after she got done stabbing all those people, she was just eating them. And that's how it went. Mangled hand looks like yours after washing them too much. What are you washing your hands with? 
Razor blades? Yeah, and you can eat long pig for free when you're a cannibal. It's good. It's good. 